So hello guys, uh, in the last video we end up here in this point, moving low definition applied to the structure. So let's make the moving low definition and apply it to our structure. First of all, let's go to tools. Now, job preferences. We can go to the databases via loads and we need to press this button, create a new user database. I'm just going to type what they claim here over this point. You can check this information later. Okay, let's call this user. The user database name will be user defined database. And the length units will be meter and the force units will be kilonewton. Let's create. Okay. It's already loaded in this list. Let's press OK. Now let's define the moving load. Let's go to load, special loads, moving. Okay, I need to create a new here, new vehicle. Now I need to press also. Once again, this button, new, and give it a name. The name will be Moving Crane. Sorry, Moving Crane. Press OK. Now let's define the load type, which will be a concentrator force. 30 here, minus 1.2 here. Also a concentrator force. Our load, our moving load will be three point loads that's how we are going to model this that's how they model this in the exercise so we are going to do the same thing and you may see here a plan view what is shown here is a plan view and here I've got the first the second and the third all having these values here okay Let's proceed and now we need to save to the database. The database will be this one, the user defined database. Press OK and now let's add and close. Now back on the moving loads here, I've already select my moving crane. I'm going to call it once again moving crane load. Now we need to define the root of this moving load. Let's go here and press define. To be a polyline, let's add the coordinates over here. 0, 3, add 12, sorry, 12, 3. You can define this graphically also. Now let's apply, press yes. Now close. The step of the moving load will be 1 in the load direction will be 0, 0, minus 1. We will be defined by this vector, which is just the minus z vector. The step will be, first of all, our moving load, let's say, will be here. And in the next, in the next component of the moving load, it will be one meter apart and the next one one meter apart and one meter apart until the end of the structure okay this is about this one here the step now let's go to application plane selection and we are going to apply our load to bar number eight which is this beam here okay okay now let's go to parameters here I'm going to model the load that uh, is generated when the crane breaks. I need to add a coefficient and uh, the program will multiply the vertical load by this coefficient. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And I'm going to check this option and also this option to make sure. Checking these options here, make sure that the load doesn't go away from the 
from this axis and also the axis in the beginning. As soon as the last load gets here, there are no more steps generated, no more components. Okay, let's press OK. Now let's press uh, apply and close. Now let's go to structural analysis. Go here to tools, job preferences, structural analysis, and the method of solving the system of equations will be iterative. Okay. Press OK. And now we can run the calculation to make sure everything is all right. Yes, and it is. So now I am running out of time. On the next video, I will be doing the steps here, which is the presentation of the vehicle and moving load case, which is a really cool step to do, in my opinion. So thank you very much.